In the first part of this video, I'm going to talk about functions as relationships and functions as machines. In the second part, we'll go on to talk about functions as equations and functions as graphs. Let's start with functions as relationships. So functions act on an input and change them into an output. So just to get the, the hang of things, let's run through some examples. So if the input was spending time on a task, then the output should be getting good at the task. If the input was earning some money, then a possible output might be buying new shoes. If the input was having a job, then the output might be earning some money. So one thing to notice here is earning some money was an input for this relationship between earning money and buying shoes, but it was an output for this relationship between having a job and earning money. We can also go the other way around. We can try to figure out what the input was that created a particular output. So let's suppose the output was keeping your job. What would the input be? Well, perhaps performing the job well. That would allow you to keep your job. How about receiving a good grade in a course? What kind of input would lead to that output? Well, perhaps working hard in the course. What if the output was your headaches gone? Well, the input might be you took a painkiller. So something to notice here is that typically the input will precede the output. You take the painkiller before the headache goes away. You work hard in the course before you receive the good grade. You keep your job after performing the job well, and so on. Last two examples are a little more challenging. If the input was low barometric pressure, then the output is typically that it starts to rain. And then finally a math example. If we run at 10 kilometers an hour for six minutes, how far of a distance do we cover? Well, let's think about this. 10 kilometers in one hour, 10 kilometers in 60 minutes in other words. We only run for six minutes though, which is one tenth of an hour. So presumably we cover one tenth of 10, which is one. So cover a distance of one kilometer in six minutes if we run at 10 kilometers an hour. So that's functions as relationships. How about functions as machines? So this is gonna bring us a step closer to thinking about functions in a mathematical sense. But again, kind of we're in the non-mathematical realm at the moment, just to give you an idea of thinking of machines as transforming inputs into outputs. So for example, if the machine is a toaster and the input is bread, then what's gonna to happen to the bread? Well, presumably if the toaster is doing its job is the bread will become toast. Let's suppose the input for another machine is dirty clothes and the output was clean clothes. What kind of a machine might do that? Well, probably a washing machine. And then the last example, if the machine is an oven and the output is cooked food, the input is raw food. So that's a few 
non-mathematical examples of functions as machines. In the second part of this video, we'll go on to think about equation machines that transform numbers, input, input numbers into output numbers.